My name is uh, Sunil. I am from Hindran Engineering. Uh, this is a uh, grid connected hybrid solar power plant installed at a residence at Jainagar. This is a 9.8 kilowatt system. We have got 20 panels of uh, 250 watt peak panels and uh, 15 panels of 320 watt peak. This is a grid connected hybrid plant. When there is grid available here, it works like a grid connected uh, system. When there is no grid available in, in the facility, it works like an off grid system. So we will go now and see the inverter setup, the battery setup, the loads, and we'll have some little bit explanation from the inverter manufacturer. So this is the uh, in inverter setup. As I explained earlier, this is a hybrid inverter. Uh, since it's a three-phase setup, we have got uh, three inverters. These are hybrid inverters uh, of Studermic. Studer is a Swiss company which manufactures these hybrid inverters. We have Mr. Shamsundar here. He is the country head of uh, Studer India. So he's going to explain to us the working of the charge controllers and the inverters. So now it's over to Mr. Shamsundar. Uh, as Mr. Sunil explained, we have the panels on the rooftop where all the panel power is getting collected through array junction box. Array junction, from array junction box, the power comes into this uh, fuse box. From fuse box, the power gets distributed to battery and also the same fuses are connected to all the charge controllers and inverters. Now, job of charge controller is to keep the battery healthy. That means, when the battery is full, this cuts off the power. When the battery is empty, this gives the full power to charge the battery. Now, we have connected various panels to these three charge controllers. Panels have been split into three different parts and all the parts are connected to this particular charge controllers. Each charge controller can handle up to 5 kilowatt peak of panel capacity and this is directly connected to the battery through fuse. Now, these are the in inverters. These are called hybrid inverters. These inverters are capable of exporting excess power back to the grid, also act as off-grid, that means UPS, during power failures. Now we have configured these inverters in three-phase configuration, wherein the power gets exported in three-phase format. Also during power failures, you can operate any of your three-phase equipment like uh, uh, lifts, water pumps or any of the three-phase loads including centralized air conditioners. Now, this is the RCC where we have the data logger and this can store the data minute by minute and also it gives you the on real time display of what is happening with the load and as well as the inverters. As I told you, these are hybrid inverters which can perform as both off grid as well as on grid. That means this can push the power, excess power back to the grid. That means you can trade the power with your electricity board or also this can also work as off grid. That means during power outages, this will give you power output for all your loads. If the power outage is during the daytime, then solar will be given priority. We don't drain the battery unnecessarily. Solar power would go to the load. If the power failure is during the night time, then we would use the battery which is stored here. I'll come to the battery slide later. Now, these inverters are configured in three phase format. So all the three phase loads can work on this. Secondly, this can also take high imbalance, load imbalance. That means I can have full load on one inverter and no load on two other two inverters. So thereby I conserve battery. It is like, un it is um, unlike any other inverter where you have single inverter pushing the three phase power. Here I can segregate the load and load it on three phase and take the combined output for three phase outputs. Now these are all very high efficiency inverters. That means I have more than 90% efficiency at all load levels. So, uh, what is the advantage of that? The advantage of that is you will be saving a lot on battery, conserves battery power. Secondly, these inverters have built in uh, programmable contactors wherein I can program the inverter to switch on or switch off a load at a particular time. For example, you have all the yards, um, outdoor lighting where you want to switch on at 6 o'clock in the morning, I can. 6 o'clock in the evening, I can program it with these inverters. So, where, wherein inverter turns on the light at 6 o'clock in the evening and turns it off in the morning at 6 o'clock. So, these are all programmable. I can have various programmable loads on these particular inverters. Now, this is a AC distribution board where I have two uh, MCBs and one ELCB 
these are all basically for protection uh, purposes line from bescom comes into this mcb gets into the inverter and from this inverter ac output is again coming here and get distributed to various loads now coming to the battery we have used eight batteries of 200 ampere hour each so in total these batteries can deliver up to 16 units of power so if i use 1 kilowatt i can the i can use the batteries for 16 hours or i can use 2 kilowatt of load then the batteries will last for 8 hours so these are all solar uh, batteries low maintenance tall tubular batteries we can see uh, as of today they have uh, imported about 9463 units of energy and exported about 10706 units this is over and above what they have consumed